Okay, just a very, very quick review of uh, these panel voltmeter ammeter, ammeters from eBay or via eBay from China. Um, yeah, I have already did the uh, post back video link below or in a card somewhere. And yeah, that's uh, again, that was the listing. Yeah, one to 100 volts, 10 amps. And yeah, in the listing, uh, it says, uh, okay, power supply DC. It needs, uh, where is it? 4.5 to 30 volts. So that's also nice. Um, working current less than 20 milliamps. It's about 50 milliamps. Measuring range 0 to 400 volts, 0 to 10 amps. Minimum resolution 0.1 volts. Minimum resolution amps 1.1, 1.01 amps. And that's fine and dandy. These things uh, have two connectors, one for the measuring and uh, they need a second power supply so that they can really work down to zero volts. And the good news is um, obviously they are working. So um, yeah, this is fiddling around. I'm rebuilding uh, my power supply. I got it. Uh, link also below. Uh, watch the video. And uh, yeah, uh, my not too shabby, but not really good backman says 30.2 volts and it says 30.2 volts. And uh, the Bryman says it's 91.7.6 milliamps and it says 0 0.09 milliamps. So far so good. But there are two quirks with that thing. The first, uh, yeah, you could say it's a matter of taste, uh, but um, this thing is using a low side shunt. Okay, not high side, a low side shunt. If you don't want to have a low side shunt uh, for current measurement in your application, this is not for you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, three bucks, less than three bucks. Um, yeah, you can complain. There are two, my Nasco. Oh, this is grainy, but uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, there are two Minasco pots here to adjust the current and the voltage a little bit. Especially, I fiddled around with the current pot and it's fidgety. I mean, you turn, you turn, you turn, you turn, you turn, and uh, yeah, it goes up plus minus one digit. Yeah, at, I tested it at the, oh, sorry, zooming out again, <laughs> uh, at the 90 milliamperes. So uh, you can adjust for plus minus 10 milliamperes there. So, but um, if you overturn it just a little to one side or the, the other, I mean, it's continuously spin. spin. So uh, it has no stop, it just spins. Uh, you suddenly get some fancy readings of zero amps or two point whatever amps. So that's a little bit fidgety. The real complaint I have about these is the following. So remember resolution 0 0.01 amps. Uh, at the moment I have 92 milliamps. Yeah, spot on. Now I'm fiddling the breadboard in the back and try to remove a very hot resistor that I put in at load. Arch. So 
now we have 61.6 and it's 0 0.06 everything's hunky-dory now I pull the next resistor I mean I have about 30 volts and I have 1k resistors so 30 milliamps load per resistor I pull the next one uh, ouch. sorry but they are hot 31 milliamps and it goes down to zero so there's definitely um, a non-linearity at the low side for the current range and that's a little bit I mean I want to know when 10 or 20 milliamps are coming out of my power supply or not so this is a little bit of a no-go for me uh, let me see if I can increase the current without destroying something ah, these things are still hot on the breadboard the thick leads of these I think they are one or two watt resistors uh, they are quite hard to get in but uh, I try my best yeah I think you can see it 64.6 milliamps and it says 0.4 that's now within the spec plus minus one percent uh, plus minus one digit but if we go down to 30 gone yeah uh, the other thing you should be aware of is these things are if I find my calipers these things are tiny um if you want to put that into an enclosure it's 45 like promised by twenty-six okay and here's my second complaint uh these they are built for snap in I'm sorry zooming a lot okay so they have these little detents here however you can press at these trying to use something transparent at these detents as hard as you want and they give maybe half a millimeter So you won't be really able on the back side it's yeah zoom a little bit grainy it's not much better so they give maybe half a millimeter and yeah you won't be really able to snap that in you will need to glue it I guess or maybe hmm, there would be more space if you hmm. no you would have to take it completely apart you see uh, down here these snap-in detents they basically there's no space between the detents and uh, the display same off on the other side so you probably better off uh, breaking off these detents somehow and hot gluing or whatever these in to your case yeah that was it very short review yeah less than three bucks you can't complain but and reasonably accurate within reason uh, within the specs but low side shunt if you don't like that it's not for you non-linearity below 50 milliamps it 
won't display any values low, uh, 45 milliamps. It won't display any values lower than that. And uh, you will have some trouble getting these into your case using the spring loads here as a snap-in module. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. These are also available, obviously, in 30 volts and 200 volts. 5 amps, 2 amps, 100 amps and 50 amps. But uh, on the eBay listings, you usually come most of the time about the 100 volts, 10 amps. But uh, for a reasonable, for normal power supply, maybe 30 volts, 5 amps would be, you know, more interesting. Just a tip when you go shopping and you decide, okay, I don't care about 30 milliamps not being displayed. Okay, bye.